Hey everyone, thanks for watching another video. This tutorial is going to be about using the Particles 2D node in Godot engine. I'm going to show you how to make this really simple but really cool rain particle system. So you can see the example just playing on the screen here. I'm actually going to delete the particles node that I've created and we'll start from scratch and hopefully rebuild this. So this is the particle. You can actually see the particles falling in the editor as well. I'm just going to delete the node. And we're going to start over. I've just got this black rectangle and a label with rain rain go away on it. So add child node. We can search. There is the particles node. We want the particles 2D just because that's how I have this project set up. Now if I pull this over and zoom in on it, nothing's happening right now but we are up in the editor. So we're looking at it in the inspector and it says emitting but nothing's happening. The first thing that we do is we go into process material. The material is empty. If we click on it, it's like a lot of other things in Godot. We just have to create something new. I'm going to hit new particles material. As soon as I add that, we can already see something's falling. This is the basic starting point for all particle systems. Now it gets a little confusing because some of the settings that we're going to be messing with are inside of the particles 2D node itself. And some of the settings are inside the particles material. So now that we've added one, you can click on it and you'll see all of those settings kind of fall down. So you just have to get a sense of where things are that we're going to mess with. I definitely can't go over everything in this tutorial, but I would highly encourage you to take the time to set up a particle system. Just kind of go through every setting. If it looks interesting, try changing the value and just see what it changes. I feel like that's the best way to learn how a lot of this works. You can see all these different categories. The first thing we're going to change is the color. We click on this and we're just going to pick maybe just a generic, just kind of blue color. And you can see it changing here in the editor. We still haven't run the project. We can start with that and go from there. So I accidentally clicked on gravity, but that's actually the thing that we need next. Right now gravity is pretty much pointed straight down. If we set the X gravity value to the same thing as the Y, then you'll see that it just goes at a perfect 45 degree angle. I think in my project I had it set on negative 30 just to give it a little bit of a slant to the left, but not much. It's still mostly falling straight down. So we've got the direction of our rainfall, the color. We want the rain to last long enough to fill up the screen. So I'm going to come out of the particles material and find this category called time. And we're just going to increase the lifetime of the particles. I'm going to set it to three. And you can see in the editor that the lifetime has increased pretty significantly. That's enough to get us started with rain, but we still need more than just a single point that's emitting the rain. So emission shape, back within particles material, if I click on that, we're on point for the shape. I can change that to a box. And then if we increase the X value to 200, you'll immediately see that they start generating all along that. It's essentially a line now because it's only one high, but it's 200 wide. There's not very many rain particles, and that's because outside of particles material, we're still only generating eight at a time. So if we bump that up even to 200, that's pretty close to what we want in the end. So I'm going to reposition some things. I'm going to pull this particle system up above our window. I'm actually going to increase the amount again to something like 700. I'm going to extend the box out even further. Let's say 600. You have to keep in mind that as you increase the size of the box that's emitting, you also want to increase the amount because the rain's becoming less dense. You can see it's still not quite hitting the bottom of the, the black rectangle that we've created, so we want to increase the lifetime. Let's go to 3.2. I guess that's not enough. 3.5. I guess there's not a huge reason to be conservative, so 4.5. The rain's still falling very slowly. You can see it speed up a little bit as gravity kind of takes its course, but we do want to speed it up. We don't have to increase the gravity in order to make it fall faster. We can actually just increase the speed scale value inside the time category of the particle node. So if we take the speed scale and we go to 2, then it's falling twice as fast. We might could even get it a little bit faster. I'm going to bump the amount up one more time to 1,000 just to add a little bit of density. It's falling a lot faster. 
the one other thing so back inside make sure you're back inside this particles material down at scale if we increase the scale value to three then the rain gets a lot larger we do want some of the rain particles to be larger so we can increase the scale but we're also going to take the scale random up to one so now theoretically the particles are of a size between I guess between zero and two I'm actually not totally sure if it's between zero and two or one and two but regardless it looks a lot better when we add a little bit of randomization to the size I think that's already very close to what I had at the beginning I'm gonna keep this as a really short video hopefully this has been helpful if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more like it make sure you hit the subscribe button as always thank you for watching these tutorials and hopefully I'll see you in the next one